it was a mistake to have such a big banking sector with a very high deposit interest rate, the highest in Europe, because apart from attracting capitals from abroad, it incited Cypriots to put their money in the banks, not invest them, and not spend them in the real economy. And then the interest rates for lending money were higher than the deposit rates, that's natural in any bank, and therefore this was very detrimental to the economy. That's for the responsibilities of Cyprus. Now I maintain that Cyprus, because of its small size and its limited systemicity, if I can use this word, was allowed to serve as an experiment answering the biggest question, what to do about banks too big to fail? Yes? Can banks indefinitely make reckless decisions and take risks, feeling that at any moment the taxpayer's money will come and rescue them? This has been, for Europe, a great big question. And the opportunity was offered through Cyprus to give the warning and the example for the rest. But unfortunately, it didn't permit us to readjust all the wrongdoings of our economy, let's say within a three-year period, instead of this brutal an overnight collapse of our banking system.